<sighs> Hi, it's Mary from Reviewer's Diary, and I am coming to you barefaced. Um, I did wash my face, um, used all my Korean skin care. I used like three different things, <laughs> pat it all on. Then I used a serum that I'm going to talk to you about right now and a moisturizer that I'll let you know about. So, whew, boy, my back is killing me. <laughs> I have been off camera for a while. Um, I guess I could take this down now. I've been off camera for a while because I actually um, broke my foot. And two months ago, I told you guys about um, my broken foot and that I needed to have foot surgery. <laughs> Let me say that any fantasy world that I lived in where I thought I could get my bunion fixed on my right foot is gone. I am never having foot surgery again. I live in a two-story home and uh, boy, everything puts me out of breath because I'm so shot. Anyway, um, I live in a two-story home where basically... Um, <laughs> I wasn't able to go upstairs. So I've been off camera because I didn't, I didn't want to bring my whole filming setup and everything downstairs. So I was using a hand camera. One of my subscribers let me know that she missed seeing my face on video. So I do apologize. This is the bare face and I'm going to go in really, really close so you can see what my skin condition is like on a regular day but I did use the first of the serum. So I'm going to pull you in real close first. Um, it is, I'm going to try to film the update at the end at the same time of day with the same lighting conditions. So let me turn this on. That might help. Yeah, it's kind of a cloudy day outside. I am, um, I do have a lamp on the, the left hand side. I don't have a ring light. I don't plan to get a ring light. Um, I never plan to get a light that's going to bleach out everything and make me look younger than I really am. So anyway, um, or more beautiful than I really am. So I have a window over there and I have the shade open to let in as much natural light as possible. And this is the condition of my skin right now. Dark circles and all. And I never like seeing myself on camera close up barefaced and really don't like it. <laughs> so um, basically a couple months ago, I talked about starting the Strivectin um, anti-wrinkle four-week intensive rejuvenation system. It's a system of four serums. Now, I did do one month of the first one, and then I went to the second one, and it's pure water. It's so watery that I figured that there has to be something wrong. Um, so this is the set that I am currently using. I get my face behind it so that the camera's not looking for my face. This is, was enormously expensive and in hindsight I never would have purchased this if I knew a lot of what I know now. Um, skincare wise you don't need a set like this but sometimes it's fun to try something a little bit different. And I had purchased this. This is the leaflet and the thank you for spending all of your hard earned money. Um, and this is uh, what it's like. Now, they sent me another set because I complained that number two was pure water. So I have all the serums in this box. And in this box, I have one that I finished, and it is the number one. Now, it must have some glycolic acid in it because I remember using this and then using my... Um, I have a Clinique moisturizer that has the orange cartridge. It's to wake up skin or whatever, but anyway, it's got a low level of glycolic acid in it as well. So, <laughs> 
I irritated the crap out of my skin for the first day or two until I realized that I was getting a little too much glycolic acid. So now it's been, um, it's been two months now since my foot surgery, like literally almost exactly two months. Um, I just managed to get myself up stairs now that I'm allowed to wait bare to a limited extent. I'm not allowed to walk far. Like I asked the doctor, can I start, you know, standing up and walking the dog? No, I can walk as far as the mailbox, but that is a hundred feet. So I told him it's a hundred feet away. And he said, just very carefully, you're allowed to walk as far as the mailbox. That's it. Apparently the bone in my foot is not completely healed. Um, it's tied together with, I think in one of these videos early on, I'll see if I can find it and put it up in the eye. I had shown a picture of what my surgical um, foot looked like and how many wires and how much there's a plate in there. It's the long bone, not the toe, although they found out later when they saw a calcification on the little toe that I actually had broken that as well. It looks and feels completely normal. My foot still hurts, especially if I do too much. Like the day that I made the apple pie, which was Wednesday night, I had to sit down to peel the apples because my foot was just killing me. Um, I did as much as I could sitting down and that did help, but it does still hurt sometimes. Um, the problem is that it's not completely healed yet. I can feel my skin glowing, <laughs> if that's what we want to call it. So, I love when he does that. you could see him I turned the camera so that hopefully you could get a, a good look at him but <laughs> um, I did want to give you guys that update you're gonna see this video before you see other videos that I have planned um, I do plan to be on camera more just want to let my um, subscriber know you are gonna see me again the problem with being downstairs for two months is that I could not really bring all this set up downstairs and um, cause I have a big puppy who would just knock everything over and break the camera. So, um, he broke me. So who's to say he wouldn't break the hell out of my camera. So anyway, um, this is a really bad time in our lives. 2020 has been really hard. So hopefully, um, and then in everyone's life because of the COVID illness. So hopefully, you know, the vaccine will be effective and stop this insane um, illness. I used to say I don't, I'm not going to get that vaccine because I don't know if it's safe or not. And then I saw a 60 Minutes um, broadcast about post-COVID syndrome that a lot of people are getting. And I noticed the stories are mostly about people between age like 25 and, and 50. And they get some serious side effects like paralysis, um, permanent loss of taste, you know, all different horrible things. Um, but the inability to walk that some people reported is just too devastating. So I would rather take the vaccine, see what happens, than end up with post-COVID syndrome. Okay, so I digressed pretty far. So I am going to go on to this 28-day skin reset. I'm going to be doing mine for longer than 28 days. Um, there's a leaflet in here that basically says not a whole lot. I know you could probably look up the ingredients on the website. So far, I I did finish um, a number one many months ago. It's in weeks and they fit into these slots. Um, you can see that I had to bend the living crap out of this just to get them out. Um, 
the packaging is a little too restrictive because you can't get the freaking things out of here. So um, I kept the stupid little gray cap. I don't know why I kept that, but you know, that's me. That's me and my packaging issues. Um, the box is very nice. I am going to repurpose this box. It's when this is all over because it's almost like an old fashioned cigar box. It closes and it has magnet so I really like the box so this will be repurposed I'll probably give one to my husband and uh, I'll keep one for myself but it's a really cool little box so anyway um, it comes with this leaflet so this is what the packaging looks like when you buy it um, it's probably on a Black Friday sale right now somewhere or use if you plan to buy this, use your 20% off coupon that you get from Ulta. Um, I did purchase this from Ulta. Um, and it comes with this leaflet. Um, anyway, this is what it looks like on the opposite side where it's in a different language. I did write on here um, transient redness. I think it's because I was using it with a moisturizer that had actives in it and probably active on app active although my skin is looking a little i did use it this morning um the number one is supposed to my husband gave me this frog i think they're called that i i wore my glasses around my neck so that i wasn't constantly searching for glasses um while i was in the wheelchair i was in a wheelchair for six weeks um, while I was in the wheelchair, <laughs> I was always like, damn, I left my glasses and, you know, it would be in the kitchen or wherever. So I just decided to wear this and I've gotten into the habit of wearing it. So I always know where my glasses are. <laughs> They're a little dirty, but um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and read this. Okay, so it's not the one I was reading this is the one I was reading okay I have two of these leaflets now and I don't need two of them but anyway for the first week you'll see visibly luminous hydrated skin signs of dullness and fatigue will be eliminated as hydra hydration levels improve and the skin barrier is strengthened it says key ingredients are proprietary sea salt ferment Himalayan herbal extract, green dragon root, and oh, coenzyme Q10. Um, I think it also must have a little bit of, I'm going to look up the ingredients and see if I can post them in the description box below, if I can find them. Um, I wish they were a little bit more transparent about exactly what's in here. Oh, and I did want to say so that when I do the update, hopefully it's the same time of day, but I don't think I'll have exactly the same conditions. So each one of these um, tubes is 0.3 ounces. It's only supposed to last for um, about a, uh, a week. It lasts me longer than a week. Um, even though I put like a little more than um, a pump, it does spread very easily. It's like a gel finish. So I'm so disorganized today. I'm like all over the place. So what I did is I washed my face. First I used a um, uh, cleansing balm because I fell asleep with my makeup on last night, cardinal sin. So I used an eye makeup remover and then I, I cleansing balm and then I washed and um, after I washed I used my Korean skincare toners and ferment um, and then I put on this after all that had soaked into my skin so I'm gonna draw you in a little closer I'm hoping it'll improve the light because my camera is trying very hard to see person there we go that might be better or not or maybe not um, but I did use this and that spread in very nicely and after that sank in I used one of my tiny treasures and it's just a ceramide cream by Elizabeth Arden I really really like it um, it's almost let's see it's pretty far it's almost gone um, 
So I figured let me use that up, but I don't think it's mixing well because it's got SPF in it. I don't think it's mixing very well with this because I had quite a bit of eye irritation um, after I put on the one with the sunscreen. I think because it's a chemical sunscreen in here. So anyway, my intention is to use my Strivectin moisturizers with this. It'll be my face and neck moisturizer. I did show that in my skincare project. The face moisturizer is just my favorite moisturizer on the planet Earth. And I need, uh, I need to start saving up for when that runs out because that might be one that I might fill a piggy bank in order to refill. But I am looking for a dupe for it first. So I have plenty of moisturizers and skincare things. I think I've done my skincare inventory. I'm going to do a makeup inventory now that I feel like I've decluttered everything I'm going to declutter. I've filmed a few declutters. I can put an eye up here for the declutters as well. But anyway, <laughs> off topic yet again. It is what time? Alexa, what time is it? It's 11.50 a.m. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you. I will be back at approximately this time in this chair with that light on, that light on, and my shade open to show you how my skin is before and after. So I'm going to zoom in one more time to for the end, and I am going to um, show you what I look like before and after before not after <laughs> because i'm just starting again i just started again today so anyway thank you very much for watching this has been mary with reviewer's diary and yes my face is on camera um now that i can come up here and use my usual uh filming setup i can be here for you guys and so anyway thank you very much for watching this has been mary with reviewer's diary have a beautiful evening. Good night.